Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie is... The Yellow Birds. Ha <laughs> ha! And we're with our favorite co-host... Me. Me! <laughs> Quinn Kimmel. Isn't it great to see her downstairs again with us to open up another fine movie review? I know you're all excited. Yes. Remember Kaylee did it once? Kaylee did it once too. If you haven't seen that, check out our Oscar special. Wait, is she going to go in another video? Or she might go in another video. I don't know. You're the star of the show tonight. But without further ado, let's talk about the Yellowbirds. It's about two young soldiers who go over to the Iraq War. Um, so you know, if you've watched any of my movie reviews, I'm a big fan of um, our soldiers. And I love what they do. This is another movie about that, so I'm excited to see it. It um, stars Jennifer Aniston and uh, Ty Sheridan from Ready Player One. I'm becoming a big fan of his, so I really like what he's been doing. Tony Collette's in this, and uh, oh, Alden, I don't know how to say it, Alden Ederich, you know, um, who's uh, who I believe is Han Solo in Solo. So uh, first look at him before we see Solo. And uh, do you have something you would like to share? I want to say it to you. Okay. Um, well, do, should I turn off the camera? No, it's just yeah. Well, okay. Well, um, so we'll get into it a little bit here, and we'll see how it's going. I'm going to listen to what she says, and maybe I'll share it with you. Okay, here's the first. Sorry. I now realize what my daughter was saying in my ear was, I thought she was saying shoulders, soldiers, because our friend Sean... Your best friend in the whole wide world. Your best friend is a uh, soldier in the Air Force. And that's what you were saying. Isn't Sean a shoulder? No, he's a soldier. Right? And Eric and... Uh, Who's that? Yeah, I, I think you met Eric a long, long time ago. But yeah, they're all in the military. But yes, that's what Sean is. He's a shoulder. Not soldier. <laughs> that's what you were saying. So, secret's out. We're going to get into it a little bit more. Sorry for the delay, but now I wanted to translate what my beautiful daughter, Quinn, was saying. All right, we'll be back. Bye. Hey, everybody. Time for a quick check-in. We're watching the Yellow Birds. We're at the 45-minute, 22-second mark, and I'm obviously short. My co-host, she had to go to bed. This is not a movie for her, but it's always fun to have her in the beginning, right? Let me know if you think so. I'd love to hear it. Um... Maybe there is a movie that her and I can watch fully together and uh, commentate on and give you a review on the two of us. But she reminded me of another point. Um, John Bressler. So you've seen Spud um, in the fantasy football drafts if you've been watching me for a while. His older brother was also a soldier um, in the uh, United States military. So that's what this, this is about. It's about the Army. Two guys. Well, it's about one guy. No, it's about a bunch of guys. <laughs> They're all in the Army. Um, and uh, two guys uh, start a relationship. It's that uh, Ty Sheridan um, and the guy who plays the young Han Solo. So they build a little bit of a relationship together over there, but they're, they're like foot soldiers. Um, and um, there's something going on. It's, it's, it's going back and forth from the present day, I assume, to uh, their time in, in the war. So they're in the Iraq war, and you see the relationship building between them and all the other soldiers and everything that they go through, you know, uh, the, the battles that they go through, shooting people, um, people dying around them, friends and things like that, and, you know, very common in a lot of, in, in these types of movies. Um, but they flash forward, they don't flash, but they show the forward um, where it seems like his friend and his sergeant are out of the army, and Murphy, who's played by Ty Sheridan, um, is, uh, is missing. Uh, they show it on the TV screen, and uh, um, Jennifer Aniston plays his mom, who's like, I wish I just knew what happened to him. So obviously his best friend um, and the sergeant, I believe, know what happened. and um, But we don't know yet. Um, we just, right now, it's just building up the characters and, 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 you know, showing what they went through while they were over in Iraq. Um, but they're now starting the breadcrumbs of the fact that he somehow goes missing. And these two people, I think, know why. Um, and that's what this movie is really all about. So, so far, so good. Interesting. It's a normal military 
uh, movie that you've seen every other time, but I think they're starting to create a little bit something different when uh, they the soldier is missing. So we'll see where it goes from here. Uh, if I, anything interesting pops out, I'll check in again. If not, I will see you at the credits. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of the Yellow Birds. I'm not sure why they called it the Yellow Birds. Uh, I might there might be some meaning there that I'm not aware of. But anyway. Um, you know, we we left off on the fact that these um, soldiers are, you know, um, going throughout. Um, I'm sorry, the the war, the Iraq War, and uh, one ends up missing, and that's kind of the where they're leading you towards and what happened uh, to him. But really, it shows the effects of, you know, the wars on these soldiers. We have done reviews on movies with PTSD and and everything like that, but. This is even, you know, this is while it's happening, and you can see the change in this, in Tyler Sheridan's or Ty Sheridan's character throughout, you know, the development of the film. So it's not so much after the war and when they come home, which we've seen a lot of. Um, this is more of like the change right during the war, and, you, and they show it in his character throughout this film and um, things that happen to him that make him change the way that he is. Um, but the ultimate thing is is the mystery of what happened to him he ends up missing and you want to find out and as i said the sergeant and the young han solo know a little bit about it um and so you do figure it out in the end they show you and jennifer aniston's her, her his mother is trying to figure this all out as well which is interesting because he has a father too and they showed him but he's not going along with her on the investigation whatever um but uh, um, it was good. I liked it a lot. You've seen this kind of storyline before. I think the thing that sets it apart is the, the mystery of what happened to him, where'd he go, um, and that kind of thing. And they, they share that with you, what happened, so it's not like a cliffhanger or anything like that, but I don't understand it that much. I know what actually happened to him, um, but the, the, the secrecy was behind it why these two soldiers didn't come out right away and say things. I don't know. I'm not 100% clear. I think I understand the motive behind everything without trying to uh, spoil it for you. Um, but uh, I liked it enough to I'll give it a 7. Again, very familiar war movie, which we've seen. I like the fact that they did the... the um, you show the transition of the personality or the mindset of soldiers during the war, not so much just when they come home from the war. I like that aspect of it. I like the, I like uh, Ty Sheridan as I had mentioned earlier, and I like the fact that they tried to create a new type of spin on it. On like, okay, we know all the stuff that happens in the war, but what happens when you know somebody goes missing, kind of thing. They threw that in there, so I did like that. Not too excited on how they decided to to wrap it up. Um, for a lack of a better term, but uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I still will watch any war movie, any soldier movies. Uh, you know, salute to our troops. I firmly believe that. Always will. Um, and you just see it in this movie. I mean, what they go through. Um, but anyway, it's enough. I don't want to ramble on like I always do. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think if you watched it. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And tune in for the next movie review. Thanks for tuning in this time. Kimmel's Irish Pub.